Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas, and today's surfboard review is on the Rocket Wide Squash Tail by CI Surfboards. Now I've got two boards, both stock 5'5", coming in at 25.8 liters. I'm 5'9", and 165 pounds. And I had a chance to catch up with Dane Godowskis as we talk about the Rocket Wide. I think you guys are gonna love this. Sit back, get your favorite drink, enjoy the show. Stoked to have Dane on the show. Yeah, I know. Rocket Wide Squash Tail. You know, some of our conversation out in the water, starting originally with the Rocket 9. Yeah. And you and I were talking out in the water that I really like that board best with a Almeric Twin Plus trailer set up. It was carrying more speed, that drive. But it kind of led into the Rocket Wide Squash and Swallowtail. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your kind of journey with the two models and where you're at with this board right now. Yeah, it's just been an incredible evolution from the Rocket 9 original board. Um, that board is really designed to go as fast as I could possibly go and really hold into any turn that you could throw at it. So it's completely just control oriented. Right. And taking what I gained off that design, I really wanted to apply that philosophy to like softer waves, kind of more conditions around California that you experience on a daily basis. Right. So that we cut off two inches of the tail, off the tail, an inch off the nose, and then we kind of were left with this beautiful outline that you see here. It's really forgiving, kind of a nice wider entry on the nose and tail block. And it's amazing that you still have that sense of control, but you have so much ease in generating speed down the line. Um, and it's just been a real pleasure to see how versatile the design has really been in kind of any kind of conditions you throw at it. Sure, so the first time we shot together, you were riding a rocket wide squash as a quad. Yeah. The waves were overhead. Yeah. We were having a good time. Is that pretty normal for you? Will you ride a quad in bigger surf? I mean, it seems more ideal that you'd ride it as a thruster. Yes. Because I saw you surfing that board as a thruster in some little waist high waves. <laughs> Bro, you were flying on it. So talk to our community a little bit about when you like a quad and when you like a thruster. Obviously, the board's very versatile, like you're saying. I saw you ripping on an overhead surf, and now we're groveling from our perspective. Maybe <laughs> yeah. not for East Coast terms, but out here, it was pretty small today. Yeah, you know, for me with a thruster in this rocket wide um, with the squash shell, it has a lot of drive. You know, like for these kind of waves where you can really say you need to lean in and you need that response back, it can kind of give you that little sense of directional change. Yeah. Where on the bigger face of wave, you have a natural speed of the wave, and, and the quad just kind of lets you control it at your own will like yeah. when you want to lean in to really drive off that rail you can right. but the wave has a natural speed where this this setup right here just felt like a, the right combination for generating speed and then kind of carving through it and getting more speed through the turn and carrying it into your next sequence of moves right well that's what it looked like out there for you it was sick yeah I had so much i mean lower is left i mean this is the perfect little skate park for these waves and you can see whether it's you know this size wave and cuppy with the nice bowl transition or yeah. kind of flat Whatever weight distribution you need to access to get the speed, somehow this design for myself and my serving has been kind of just a universal kind of template that you can play with sure, and, sure. and access the speed. Right. So let's talk about the Rocket Wide Swallow and the Squash. Yeah. You obviously did a new launch on the Squash Tail. Yeah. And my initial thought is I feel like it's carrying a little bit more speed top to bottom. Yeah. I feel like it's got more release. Mm -hmm at the peak of a turn. And then I feel like it's pivoting faster too. Yeah, well it looked like it. On your last wave, it was exactly how I was feeling the board design has been affecting my surfing. You were just releasing off the top in a faster way, setting up the next turn in transition and staying closer to the pocket. You know, when it is a bit of a looser free feeling, whereas right. the Swallowtail really, like you said earlier, it's got so much drive and bite and hold. And that came from that original philosophy of the Rocket 9 where it's like, I just wanted to hold in. Like, I yeah. didn't want that thing to pop out no matter what. Right, right. <laughs> but this is like an evolution of the thought and just staying more free and flowing. And, and it's really affected the transitional surfing for myself. And I could see it in your surfing. And Sick. it was pretty cool because you're riding this kind of fin setup. Yeah, this is a little twin plus trailer. And I remember loving the Rocket Wide Swallow yeah. in small surf with the Almeric Twins, which is a really upright fin. Yeah. And still have that, that quick pivot and drive. Mm -hmm. And that, that little center fin would give me the release I wanted yeah, from, the, from the swallow because it has so much traction. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah, this felt good. And then I saw you riding the thruster. And I was telling you earlier, I finally have 
a rocket wide that I can actually run as a quad. And I saw you ripping the business <laughs> yes. here. I'm like, yes, I get to ride it as a quad finally. I'm so excited for you to feel the full variety. And that's what's so cool is that with the five fin setup, you can say the thruster's not working for you or say the quad, you can play around with it and you can even change it per conditions, which I think is a huge benefit to the design. Yeah. It does somehow work universally with a variety of fin setups, which I think is different than a lot of boards on the market or different designs that I've tried in my time. And it's like, you can't just throw this kind of fin setup on any board that sure. you have in your garage and it'll work. And right. somehow this design with the, the outline and what's going on in the bottom, it just, it feels good no matter what you kind of play with. And you just can choose whatever you want to get out of this situation that right. you put into it. So. Now, the last question I have is the rocket wide swallow and the squash exactly same yes. bottom concave contours rocker you just changed the tail shape yeah we did we changed the tail shape and just a little bit of the outline going into the tail but that's pretty much it okay. so you have the same kind of engine in the car it just putting different little wheels on it <laughs> right and and what's cool is it performs completely different i feel like the change with the squash tail it's got that speed down the line that i feel like it's up a whole nother notch compared to the uh, swallowtail so well, a great revision from my perspective it, and it's cool it's because it's subtle but you notice the differences right. and it it's been really exciting to see how many people have gravitated to the design and are inspired about it it's made a positive change in their surfing they're super inspired to go surf no matter what the conditions are sure. and it's like for those people to have an option to change it up to get a whole new feeling on a design that they already love to me was super important to kind of work towards and to just have another option to reach in the bag and say hey I want to stay inspired about surfing. I want to go out there and have fun and enjoy it and have speed and be able to control the speed. So yeah, I, I hope people really enjoy it. I mean, it's been fun serving with you out here and I love watching you rip on it. So. Ah, dude, it's so fun. Dane, thanks for joining us on the show. Yeah. And congrats on the rocket wide being a success in general. And I think people are going to be stoked on the squash tail version. Oh, thanks. Well, hopefully we'll see everyone in the lineup on them and share some waves and some stoke. Stoked to have Dane on the show. Talking about the rocket wide squash tail, I really want to separate the squash tail from the swallow tail from my experience. I want to start with the squash tail. For me, it was really quick down the line. So it had that quick get up and go. It's actually carrying more speed compared to the swallow tail. I talked about it pivoting quicker. I also feel like it's faster top to bottom. With that extra release compared to the swallow tail, actually had a bit more traction and hold. And I believe we can attribute that extra speed that pivot and release to the surface area in the tail and the tail design. I remember riding the swallowtail only with three boxes and I gravitated towards a pivot fin. One of the things I like about the swallowtail is it kind of had that built-in hold and drive. So putting in a pivot template got me into the lip quick and it was a great balance for me in the way I want to surf that board. And when the waves got smaller, I transitioned to the Almeric twin plus stabilizer, and that's also a pretty upright twin fin. Now, with the squash tail, right off the bat, I went straight to a pivot fin when we went to BSR Surf Resort. Because of my experience with the swallowtail, I thought this is a good way to get into that punchy little beach break type wave and get nice and vertical real quick. And the board length at 5.5 fits great, and I just felt like the pivot fin on the squash tail was pivoting a little bit too quick and I wanted a bit more drive. So then I switched to the neutral template as a thruster and it was starting to feel better. When I got back to the ocean to finish our board testing, I liked the rake template the best, which is a complete opposite of what I liked in the swallowtail as a thruster. Now, from there I went to the quad setup. This is my first time having five fin boxes in the rocket wide whether it was the swallowtail and now the squash tail. And I really felt like this setup right here just kicked up the speed a whole nother notch. And it was actually my favorite setup out of all the different fin setups I ran. So I have a neutral side fin, and then I have a pivot quad rear, which is the best of both carving and pivot. And then when the waves got a bit smaller, I transitioned to a twin plus stabilizer. And this is a pretty upright prototype that I'm riding. And this felt good too. It's that extra bit of playfulness and drive in the smaller waves, but my favorite setup was the quad. Now, the last question I wanna to respond to is, did I like the PU Poly or the EPS Epoxy Spine Tech better? And I'm gonna say one to four foot surf every time I'm gonna choose Spine Tech. I'll take that extra pop and projection and 
utilize that to my advantage in small waves. If you're buying the board as a daily driver and you surf a lot of choppy waves, then I recommend the PU Poly. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review on the Rocket Wide Squash Tail. This board remains a favorite of mine and I highly recommend it for that intermediate all the way to pro level surfer as a small wave performance board best in one to six foot surf. Special shout out thanks to Dan Gadowskis for joining us on the show and CI for sending these boards in for review. Look, if you like the show, subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you like our content and ring the bell so you don't miss an episode. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.